Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I am Derek, and we are not on Facebook. 100% <laughs> we are not right now. It says you plan to go live. I'm Nick, certified bartender. <laughs> Dude, this is ridiculous. I tried fixing this earlier. It wouldn't let me do it. What happened? It's the it's not letting me go live on Facebook. This. Oh, my God. You know what? Let's do this. Pain. This is why we test it all out. We get it going, folks. Yeah, so, yeah but we're, we're live right now. So Welcome people Facebook. coming from YouTube, at least, Twitter. Yeah, YouTube and, and everything. Instagram. We're working on technical difficulties, unfortunately. Why the heck yep. is it doing this, That's man? All right. But if you don't know why we're here today, I'll fill you in for a few minutes, and I'll attempt the best. Thank so. you. I appreciate that. We're doing another blind, not for us, but for you. This is a sip along. So what we'll be doing today is Grainstone, some Highland uh, single malt scotch whiskeys. So we have a couple different ones. We have a uh, bourbon, we have a sherry cask finish, and a rum cask finish uh, that we are trying to depict which one is which. We have them in order as tonight, A, B, and C, thanks to Sadie. Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to try to depict which one's which while you at home are going to be able to sit there and sip along with us. So um, just while we finish and try to keep going with this. and Derek Yeah, and we're working on it. We're working on it. Crack some oh, open and I knew I should have tried. So, yeah, we're working. We're, we're trying here. Let's see if this will let me do it. Come on, baby. But tonight. There we go. Add. Oh, Come on. I figured it out. It can now be used for keeping a knee group. Okay. Hopefully this is going. Worst case, I wonder if you can close this one out and just restart a new live. Uh, we may have to. I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, no. It says we're going live, so it's, it should be. I'll refresh my page. Oh, no, I could just have to go live on that right now. We're good. Okay. There we are. We're live. Oh, boy, I tell you, folks, Woo! we had some technical difficulties there. I was having a heart attack. For whatever I reason, my tell. stream yard dropped off, we're but in. we're back. Sorry, we are uh, <laughs> Actually, not bad. Two minutes late with a technical issue. That isn't bad at all. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible, man. You know so what? Welcome, Kinfolk. <laughs> yes, welcome. <laughs> to keeping it neat. <laughs> to keeping it neat. To keeping it technical. Keeping it very technical. You know what? I've seen other shows do this where they've had problems, and I'm like, I just kind of go, yeah. "Oh, that'd be terrible if that happened." That'd Guess what happened? Worst. That was us. It'd be the worst. But we're here anyway. That's okay. We we managed to fix it. I should have done that earlier, but I didn't. I couldn't figure out how to do it. But I just figured it out now. Two minutes late. It's all right, though. But welcome to Keeping It Neat, Kilt Night Live. Just want to show everybody. Show so it. Going. I'm showing. I'm showing. I'm showing. Hope everyone has their kilts on. I got my kilt going right here. But the real question is <laughs> going to be for later is, do you have yours on? And are you I wearing don't... underwear under there? That's what I'm we want to know. That is in the comments below. That's what we need to know, you know? One, I don't trust you. And two, <laughs> I definitely didn't wear my kilt. Um, but I did wear my amazing Ooh, Scott, 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 Scott shirt. Scott, Scott, Scott shirt. Thank uh, you, Will Farrell, for always yes. providing comic humor. Yes, I love the Scotch. That is a great shirt right there. And let me tell you, flannel is warm. Doesn't help to be wearing it on a muggy day. <laughs> oh, I um, bet. So just, just keep that in mind when we're answering the questions. Is he wearing underwear later? But we'll be back in a couple of seconds, and we're going to find <laughs> out what's going on, what we're drinking, what, and what everybody else is drinking. So stand by, folks. Hey everybody, and we're back. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. I'm still still trying to recover from that. It's all right. You'll get through it. I promise. Yeah, I will. So we're here. We are at live with Kilt Night. We've got myself, Executive Bourbon Steward Derek. We have did we oh. did introduce ourselves? You? Uh, yeah, have, certified bartender Nick. I guess. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I'm, I'm this guy tonight. I don't know. He's this guy, Mr. Scotch Scotch Scotch. Oh, That's what I like. You know, it's, well, it's good. This is, let me take this. I'll take the lead. This is my night. This is my night. It to is shine. your night. It is your night to shine. Um, it really is. We we are doing uh, Grainstones Highland Single Malt Scotches tonight. So if you're sipping along with us, I hope you're enjoying something that you prefer or trying to sip along with us, Derek. I know you'd gotten me this one on the side for another time. Oh nice yes, twelve year one for me. So um, this was a set which we'll get to later, but we'll show. there was a set of them, and I know, um, I know, uh, Bourbon Babe, Becca, and Bur what are we calling Sadie? But I don't, yeah, I don't Junior Bourbon Babe. We call junior it Junior Bourbon Babe. Babe. Okay, that's junior what we call Sadie. Babe, Sadie. So we're actually uh, going to bring in, Sadie in, bring her yeah. in up here. She put them in order for us tonight, random order. Hi. Yep. 
B, yeah. and C. So yep, Sam, A, B, you want to tell us about it? So, um, sorry. I was trying to get Facebook up and running <laughs> on my also, thing. Oh, so we're I'll keep all, going, everyone's in this. Yeah, just keep tonight. going. Yeah, keep, keep going. going. Yeah, it's we, we're still going to wait for more people to join, so, so don't worry about it's it. The so next we're, show. Trying to, uh, we're trying to depict whether between A, B, and C, which one was finished in a bourbon cask, which one was finished in a sherry cask, and which one was finished in a rum barrel cask or barrel, whatever. Joe Clevenger. Um, so I'm looking forward to this because I'm a scotch person, as I've recently been finding. Um, I have not tried any of these ever in my entire <laughs> life. And I've just, by what I know from each one of those three types of barrels, I'm hoping I can figure this out without ever. I haven't even, I have literally, these are still sealed. I've not, still, I've not oh, I have not. I put mine yet. in the glass over there. But so, but uh, we are doing, to, to, to break away from Nick's, you know, into what he was talking about there. But we do have a drawing tonight again. Um, what we're going to be drawing for this evening is for our main prize will be Woo! for the set of the three bottles of the bourbon cask, sherry cask, and rum cask finish Grange Stone Highland uh, Scotch Whiskey. And we also have two runner-up prizes. Uh, that will be the small nip sets. So we've got two nip sets we'll be giving out, which is the three we are trying tonight. And plus we're throwing in the little 12 year um, also. So you'll be getting four nips for the runner up prizes tonight. So awesome. got a couple of things. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, you know, I don't think it's too bad. I'd love to win it, honestly. You know what I mean? So maybe I'll throw my name in there. Maybe I'll get to win my own set back. That'd be <laughs> awesome. You'd have to comment. I don't know. Oh, so, I would have to comment. Yeah, it's tough enough Sadie, for me to do this end of it. To, yeah, I was going to say, Sadie, for people who haven't done this before, why don't you explain to them how they can enter and how they can find out more information about this? Yes. Tonight? Good idea. So to enter the the drawing tonight, you're going to want to give Facebook permission to give StreamYard permission to use your name. So I, anytime you comment, if you're watching, even if you're just following along, throw a comment in there. Um, and then I'm going to put your names mm -hmm. into a wheel. And at the end of the night, we're going to spin the wheel a few times and uh, find some winners from that. But um Derek's going to show you on the screen where the link is. Right um, over it here. Should be right above our video. So yep, if you're watching, right there. Look right in where the, the description. cursor is right, right there. Us. Give the permissions that you need so you can comment and we can see your names. Like right now, this is from uh, Joe Clevenger. Horrible intro, Derek. There's no coming back from that. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. <laughs> I know you're here. So your name is now entered into the drawing for later. Yes, I do have Facebook open on my phone. So even if you don't give permission, I am following along. But it makes my life so much easier if you just give give Facebook permission. Please give us permission. <laughs> give us the permission. <laughs> Uh, giving a couple little shout outs right now. Darren is here tonight. Thanks, Darren, for watching us. We got Rick coming in tonight. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much for watching us this evening. You know, as we're going through here, like I said, we're just waiting to get a couple more people in. So this way we don't have to, because once we uh, go down this, I know that a lot of people may not have the Grange Stone to be able to sip along with us while we're drinking tonight, but you can sip along with whatever you want to drink tonight. You want to drink your finest bourbon, go right ahead. You want to drink a scotch that you may have around just to feel that you're on the same page with as you're drinking a scotch. Tonight we are drinking Highland scotch. We're drinking a Highland. Um, so that's what we'll be drinking. So if you would have that available, you can pour yourself a little bit of that and uh, we'll get into that. But so we'll let Sadie, I do believe um, she can, as I click that out, is give us our batting order. Well, really is the, the rules of what we're going to be doing tonight, you know, and we'll go from there. And then me and Nick are going to step off. Um, we're going to pull out our earpieces so we can't hear what's going on after she tells you what our order is and what we'll, what A is, what B is, and what C is, so you'll know what we're sipping on. Um, then we'll come back in. So right now, we're going to give it over to Sadie. So Miss Sadie, could you please tell us the bat uh, what we have for our rules this evening? I mean, you pretty much just said them, so there's really, really no point <laughs> me hopping in here with the rules. But um, I... Everyone's pretty familiar with the drill now. Uh, I'm going to kick the guys out in a minute. They're going to take their headphones off. They're going to walk away from the screens. I'm going to uh, give the the order to you guys. If you guys don't want to hear it, step away from your screen. If you guys are sipping along or you want to you follow along, whatever, whatever you want. Um, but I'm gonna only going to give the order once. We can't tell the guys what it is. They do not know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Forget it. Get out of here. Yeah. All right, we're out. <laughs> Awful. Come on. Who lets who lets these guys run a show? Why do they? Who even knows? 
I don't. Anyway, so as we said, we have the order A, B, and C. So we're gonna, gonna give that to you one time. Um, if you guys don't remember it, make sure you ask me or Bourbon Babe Becca uh, in a private message what the order is. Um, but here we go. So A is gonna be the rum finish, B is gonna be the sherry finish, and C is gonna be the bourbon finish. So one more time. A is gonna be the rum finish, B is gonna be the sherry finish, and C is gonna be the bourbon finish. So we can get the guys back in here, I guess. Uh, do we really want them back? I'm not so sure. But anyway, what's everyone drinking tonight? You sipping along with us, drinking your own whiskey? Also, Rick, I see you. Thank you so much for the congratulations. I'm done, done with school. Very happy to be done. Oh. Whew. Okay, oh, got it. we are got in. It. Welcome back. Hello, I thank guess. you so much for that. Whatever it was with Nick being so rude as he was making right. obscene You noises. hopped right in there. Yeah, I, I did hop right in. You're right. I hopped in. You're absolutely correct. You are correct. But we feed we, we feed off each other. Yeah. yeah. You know? Awful. It is awful. But before we get into everything <laughs> right now, I want to give a couple of congratulations to some of our home family right here. I want to congratulate Sadie for graduating college. Yes. Thank you. Finally, she's done. She finished, wrapped it up the other week uh, from her I'd home it, course. <laughs> yes, you did. You, you wrapped it up. So congratulations to Sadie. She's Thank you so all much. done. She's ready to enter the workforce right, and pay off Thank loans. You. She's done. We also want to give a big congratulations to Mr. Nick for being accepted Woo! into grad school. That's right. He's going to be more educated. He didn't get enough. <laughs> They're sending him back. So he needs more. <laughs> um, but I don't know if he's taking bourbon classes, whiskey courses. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be, he's going to go for his uh, graduate courses. So we'll I might start drinking more. Who knows? Ooh. <laughs> I may have Thanks, to do more Darren. shows. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Thanks, Darren. Yeah, thanks, oh, guys. We got, yeah. The, we the got, job part is next. Yeah. We're now get a job. Exactly. We've been telling you. Now get that. a job, you bum. <laughs> get a job, you bum. Unbelievable. Get back to work. Get in the workforce. You know, what are you even doing right now? Get off this. Go to work. Oh, right now? It's so late. Got to Derek, get lock the door on her way out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, we're going to. No. Yeah, but oh. All right. So we're going to get into this, kiddo. We're going to drop you out. All right. All right. Thanks, kiddo. And Sadie is gone, and now it's just me and Nick are back in. Woo! So and I uh, want to say uh, hello to Paul and everyone. I didn't get a chance to say hello to everyone, so hello Karen coming in. Here tonight. We got Karen here, too, Darren. Uh, hey, my mom. Who's the that? Facebook user that says congrats to Sadie and Nicholas is my mom. Hi, mom. Oh, nice. Hello. Hey, mom. Very cool. Mom, Very the cool. Melo. The Melo. Oh, oh, Tony's in. Damn it, I'm late. Yes, you are, Tony. You're late. Working on it, it's going through, but that's okay. You're, you're in time because we haven't really started any. We haven't even started drinking yet. If you missed it, I've got my kilt on because it's kilt night. You know, I showed everyone earlier. I'm going to show it one more time, and that's it for the evening. But I give ladies a lot of credit if you wear a skirt all day because I don't know, <laughs> especially a woolen skirt. If you got your woolen skirt on, you know what I mean. So I got to get in front of the camera there. But I got my my patterned kilt on, ready to go for the evening in the tradition of the Scottish. And I actually pulled up some information, Nick, on kilts in itself. Wow. Yeah, I was doing a lot. I did a lot, buddy. You know, it's it's more than just me showing up here. You know, I got to do some stuff. I, I, I want the people to know some stuff when I come on. <laughs> uh, it's a type of knee-length, non-bifurcated skirt with pleats in the back, originating in the traditional dress of the Gaelic men and boys in the Scottish Highlands. It was first recorded in the 16th century as a as the great kilt, a full-length garment whose upper half could be worn as a cloak. I don't have that part. I do not have the cloak, although that would be so cool. The small kilt or modern kilt emerged in the 18th century and is essentially the bottom half of the great kilt. Since the 19th century, it has become associated with the wider culture of Scotland and more broadly with the Gaelic or Celtic heritage. Um, it is most often made of woolen cloth in the tartan pattern. Um, a little unknown. Now, here's the whole thing I was wondering. I was wondering if the whole underwear thing really is like if it's, you know, you don't, you can't, you're not supposed to traditionally, and you're really not. But uh, kilts cover the body from the waist down, overlapping layers as a kilt pin. That's, you know, it's underwear may or may not be worn. 
this. So not, we know. I think it's I think it's frowned upon. Like you're not supposed to wear it. Nope. If you wear it, they're like fine, but it's not a true kilt or something. Yeah, I don't know. So, but anyway, so it, but it's as the wearer prefers. So it's your preference if you would like to or not. Although traditional has it that a true Scotsman should wear nothing under his kilt. So there you have that part. But the Scottish Tartan's authority, however, warns that in some circumstances the practice could be childish or unhygienic. <laughs> and flying in the face of decency, so that you know that much about that. Listen, if you're drinking scotch with a bunch of your friends in kilts, I think that you know it's going to be childish, oh, and it's you know it's going to get out of control. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's uh, you never know. That's the whole thing. But are you ready to get into this, my friend? We're going to start drinking here. I am. Once you say you're, are you ready? To <laughs> ready and able. All right, let's go. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, sir. Ooh. Got a nice nose. Hmm. A little maltiness right off the bat. Hmm. We got a little fruit note in there. Yep. What are you already marking stuff down? Oh my god, I feel like I'm behind already. What do I got? I got to do some. I got to do some work. So I'm already getting. <laughs> I'm already getting the fruitiness out of the cask right away. It's it's right there in your face. Uh, you yep. can smell yeah. the malt too. Oh, I. Oh, this is. It, it's good. it's very nice. Now, the Highland region, I also did some notes on Scottish regions. Tell you about all the different regions, the you know the scents and profiles that you probably get from those. Traditionally, with the Highland area, um, they, uh, the largest region for the single malt scotch is the Highlands. Uh, this is where things really get complicated, encompassing the majority of the mainland Scotland. I actually have something for everyone to look at here. Boop. Here we go. Look at that little map so you can while I'm talking. Um, it encompasses mainland Scotland. The area reaches to the northern sea to the lowlands and from the east to the west where it includes many of the islands uh, with such vast territory. The whiskey produced there is quite diverse as well. Generally, Highland single malt whiskey falls right into the middle of the spectrum of scotch. It is neither too smoky nor too delicate and is not overly rich or nor light bodied. If there is a happy medium within the world of Scotch, it is found in the Highlands. So that's the Highland region for us right there in the middle. That's what we're drinking. So I'm automatically getting, we already said, the maltiness, the fruitiness. I think there's some sort of banana in there, some cherry. Okay. It's, and I think I think a little caramel. It could be vanilla, though. Somewhere yeah, in there. Bit, the the vanilla back. caramel little debacle. Little a little oak. Um, a little honey. Smells definitely, wonderful. I'm going for the sip, fruit, buddy. The fruit that it is, I'm not sure of. But I'm going to go in for a sip. Let's break it up. Hmm. Mm. A nice warmness going down. Very light on the palate right away. Usually we do some sort of like swish it around, get it in your mouth, numb your mouth, kind of get your senses ready to go into what you're diving into. But I felt it was very smooth and it went down really smoothly as well. So what are you getting? Uh, it's got a medium finish to it. Um, again, I'm getting that light oak on there. Not, It's not very, it's not forward at all, but it's in there. Uh, that light fruit note again, getting that fruity note to it. I'm going to go with like a an apple-y kind of a note. Again, the uh, the honey and I like cinnamon. I actually think it's a butterscotch. Okay. Than caramel before. All right. Like maybe a vanilla butterscotch. Um, and folks, in case you're not sure, if you want to be in the three-part giveaway tonight, there's a main prize. There's two backup prizes. You want yep. to be in any of those? You have to comment your name below. Just because you're in the chat, just because you're watching the video, doesn't mean that you will be a part of the giveaway. You know, just because you're in the room right now watching, why not throw your name on there and possibly win a giveaway? So throw your yep. name down below in any of the comments that you're watching, and that will help you get on here. Um, or like Derek said also before on the stream yard link right above this, if you're on the Facebook page, there's a way to sign yourself up so it's easier. Yep. I'll show you that right now. <laughs> just give you another, I'll pull up that screen again just so you can see it. 
Um, it is right there. So it's right above me and Nick where you see us where we're streaming right now. It's the StreamYard link. You give the permissions. That way your comments can be seen by us. So when we pull them up, it, your name will be attached rather than, rather than just Facebook user. So just to keep that in mind, dump that off there. So, Are but you like yes. a melon? Ooh, melon, huh? Like a light melon. Ooh, did I just get a note that I... <laughs> Tony D just threw in there <laughs> your name. <laughs> there you go. Perfect, Tony. Love it. Sadie, with us I know tomorrow. you're listening. Hey, I want you to, on the wheel, put your name. Just because if it gets picked, Tony will feel terrible. Uh, who wants to know if I'm? Oh, Bubba, Robert, Bubba Lane. Hey, Bubba, he's there tonight. Paul did it too. Are you wearing matching socks with the kilt? No, I am not wearing my matching socks. Sorry, my friend, I don't have the uh, the knee high socks with this right now. I'm wearing my little uh, sneaker socks because you can't see that far down, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm getting, I am getting a slight smoke in the back. Well, there um, is a little bit. There is in the a finish smoke, yes. with, like you said, the oak. I feel like the cask is coming out a little bit, and I don't like. You're getting some of those spices, the oak in the back in the back palate. I yep. feel like. No, I agree. I think you got. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I've still got plenty of it. Um, I'm gonna give a little more, and then I'm gonna put some water in here and see if it opens it up any. I'll do it too. H two. There you go. Sometimes you know you don't want to. Sometimes, but we do it for the experiment and to see if it helps it out at all. Sometimes it actually does. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, so. I'm on my game today. You are. Nick is killing it right now so far. I know what's happening. You do. I know where we are, folks. I got my guess. So should we write our guesses down if we already know for anything? You can. If you think you know what it is already right off the bat, sir, right off the rip, he's, he's already writing down guesses. <laughs> I, however, will wait to the end. You know what I mean? I'm just going to work my way through them and, you know, maybe go back for a comparison sniff or two. But... Oh, there you go, Paul. Paul Lavelli added your name also. Thank you, Paul. You're you're added now too. So anybody who oh, wait, I guess I have to wait on my guess because I don't want to give you a guess oh, already. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You don't want to give me any hints. Pretty much, I already know what it is. I I have a good hint, a good sense. <laughs> good. It it has a very nice flavor to it. Um. And it's right in the alley of, I think, the scotches that me and Nick both like, the Spay, the Speyside scotches and the Highland. Um, it's not overly peated, that heavy smoke that really tends to, that we really have to kind of work through to get any notes out of. I mean, yeah. I think Nick just crushed like, you know, probably 10, 12 different notes there between the nose and the palate. Um, oh, getting, man. you got to oh. throw up what Paul is drinking, my man. Oh, He's bringing it back oh. to the old Mucky's night. Mucky's night. There he goes. He loved that cigar malt. He's well, we've got the Dalmore out tonight. Johnny Gill sold him on that. Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill. Best man in the biz. Johnny should pay us for all the times we mention his name on our show. <laughs> this is Johnny This yeah. This is Johnny Gills if like Johnny was if he was more intelligent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he wasn't the anchor man. Yeah. Uh, it's like got a really man. nice light nose. Um now, what do you think? There, the, it's the water help it at all? It is um, a floral note to it, yes. I will say this is the first time that the water has not killed the alcohol content that it's actually, I felt, help out bring the floral and sweet notes a little bit more with keeping the peppery spice in the back. So I, it's not bad. Like, I just, I don't know, maybe chill it. It's so tough. You could do H2O. But what I want to, you'll find out. Ooh, we'll find out, folks. Hmm. It is. It's actually the H two O. I don't think it didn't hurt it at all. Might have helped it a little bit on the actual on the nose. It opened it up a little bit. Still getting that super free that fruity aroma to it, but I'm getting that honey going on in there. The fruit note definitely. You get a slight, just a little, little, little bit of smoke in there. I know it's maltiness, but there's almost a sense of like a tobacco in there. I was gonna say the tobacco on the on the nose and a little bit on the palate. When you wash it down, it feels like you're getting like that little bit of like that tobacco ness on the back. 
So let's bring in our Miss Sadie, even though she's not going to tell us what we actually, uh, if we're close, well, if we're close on a note, she won't tell us what our notes are until the end. But here she is. Go to our favorite view for this. Hey, Sadie. Hi. How are me and Nick doing on our notes so far? Are we close? We gotten some of them, none of them. So the problem with these notes is that they're not very specific. So uh, Dad's internet died at work today. He didn't get to uh, finish the notes. So I'm using it from the back of the box here. And it's very, like, short. You guys got a lot more than than what's on here. And they're all like that. So, like, I'm not saying you guys are wrong because they're very vague about their sense here. So, like, if it's, like, a fruit, it just says fruitiness or, like, stuff like that. That's what they all say. So mm -hmm. it's, like, dried fruits, fruitiness, stuff like that on across all three of them. Not very specific, not a whole lot to work with there. Um, I was looking to find them on Flaviar to see if it, I could get a, a little bit more specific, but I yep. also could not find them there. So this is what we're working with. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're working with, is right? <laughs> I don't know. You know, we can ask our community right now. Is um, now this Grange Stone? It interests me when I was out when we grabbed it. Um, I saw it. It was at uh, the Natick Total Wines and More is where I picked it up. I haven't actually seen it anywhere else. And I was the the little bit of research I was able to do um, was that it's a fairly newer type of a Scotch, a Highland Scotch that they were making. Um, that's made. Uh, they basically started up, I believe, in like 2014. Was one of the notes that I had seen or I had read. So it's fairly new. Um, it is made by um, William and Sons, I do believe, if I do remember from my notes. Uh, William and Sons, um, he, they did that. Uh, so they own, they actually have a couple of uh, distilleries that they own. They're like the third biggest um, owner of distilleries next to Diageo and Pernod Ricard uh, over in Europe, um, which those two are like big megas. They own a lot of U.S. Um, liquors, uh, distilleries and whatnot also. So they're a big name in the game over there. Um, so they're big, but th this is like a newer brand or a newer that they just started. So it's, it's pretty interesting. I don't know if anybody else has seen it out. If you did make a comment, let us know if you have seen it out anywhere else. Um, so, but, uh, all right, Kiddo, we're going to shoot you out. Me and Nick are going to go into our bees. So thank you very much. Now we got to share. Sharing. Sharing is caring. We're going to share our, our grades first, Derek. <clears throat> oh, our grades. Okay. So I think it's at a 40% alcohol. I gave it a four out of five. Why is it? And then, um, oh, then zoom out. <clears throat> and then H2O, I wasn't sure. Um, H2O, I kind of could go back and forth in. I will say I wouldn't add H2O. It doesn't need it. But if you're really trying to figure out some of the flavors, I think it was helping. Um, mm -hmm. What I enjoyed about this actually a lot, <clears throat> which I'll get into at the end of the show because I think I know what this is, is that. It's actually a water finish afterwards. Like I was just drinking my water and it actually brought out more flavors. So not more flavors, but it brought, it brought a, um, it brought some of those flavors out naturally, which was nice in your own palate because it's already on your tongue. So I thought that that was really good. Okay. Um, I went with, beep, so for everyone to see here, I went with uh 40% alcohol H2O and I gave it a three. Um, for my grade. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I like the fruitiness to it. I like the lighter notes in there um, as far as not that really heavily smoked and, you know, overpowering almost where that's all you taste. You're getting tar and those really heavy, charry flavors. Um, this was light, fruity, enjoyable, had some spiciness in there too to coat your tongue. Um, but it's not really a long lasting. I didn't find it at all. Like I said, I think it was like a medium finish for myself, um, really kind of there. And then it was gone after a while, but it lingered for a short while, um, obviously. And I, I do think this is the lower proofing too and on the, all these, which most scotches are for the most part. Um, but that's where I'm at with mine, buddy. Okay. Want to move on? Up in a B. I'm going to B. I poured mine out a little bit. Um, and the thing, too, is like Sadie said, you know, me and Nick are rattling off all kind of things. Um, that's what we're getting out of it. Now, if you were to try it, you may be getting some different stuff yourself, um, which is totally right that you can be. You know, our, everyone's palate is different. And so subtle notes that me and Nick may get, you may get different subtle notes that you're picking out. Um, so really, there is no wrong answer for it. You know what I mean? Uh, so if you're getting that note, you're getting that note. I am not, the, I can't be the one, Nick can't be the one to tell you, you're absolutely wrong. You're not getting that, you're getting this. We'd never do that. 
Um, we do try to get the notes from the distillers to be able to compare to our own notes to see if we're getting any of what they're saying that we should be getting. Um, you know, sometimes they have some crazy offshoots, like, you know, uh, what was one of the craziest? Well, one was model airplane glue that someone said <laughs> on one of the scotch. What, what, wet on cardboard side. or something? Yeah, wet cardboard. That's Sadie's thing. Sadie's thing is wet cardboard. Mm. We got the wet cardboard going. But um, so, you know, you're not wrong with whatever you say you are getting for a note. Yep. All right. All right. So, ready? You ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Let's go. Ding. Ooh. Oh, hmm. Hmm. It's got a nice nose to it. It does. Again, it's got that lighter, fruity. I'm not getting any like smoke on the nose though. No. I'm getting like a like a brown sugary, like a honeyish again with this. Now yeah, I would imagine sugar. I, I would imagine the mash bills are all going to be the same on these. The aging is all going to be the same on these. So the notes will really all come from the barrel that they're in, whether it's the sherry, the rum, or the bourbon cask, is where we'll be mm. getting most of the notes and flavors from. I do imagine, with some from the original mash bill too, which is 100% malted barley, which most single malts are because it's only a single malt. I'm getting a lot of vanilla. And I want to say it's cherry, like a dark cherry. Okay. I'm going to go in for the sip, though. All right. I'm going to sniff a little bit more. And yeah, I, I, again, I'm getting like that slight spiciness in there, but that honey note is coming through again on this one. Um, a light oak. I mean, a super light oak. This, it's not heavy at all. A fruit note, obviously, is going on in there, too. Again, it's I'm, I'm going with an orchard fruit. For the for the fruit itself, nothing like crazy, you no know, mango or some you know tropical thing going on for me. <laughs> Darren commented on Facebook saying, "This is a great show to see if you have the Rona because if you can't taste anything, you definitely need to be taste tested." <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, that's a good sign for both of us right now. <clears throat> yep. Oh, it Oh, it motivated someone to pour some Belvini 14. That is Caribbean mm -hmm. cask is very good. That, that, yeah, good that Caribbean cask is amazing. But I agree with Paul. Like the Belvini, you cannot go wrong with any of their options. No, the Belvini is very good. They, uh, both, good. yeah, most of them are. They for the most part, everyone I've had has been um, really good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Becca and Bourbon Bay Becker and Jody from Bourbon Bounty. Uh, evidently, Jody has a utility kilt somewhere lying in his closet. He has access to it immediately. Wow. Dalmore loves water, not drops, but half and half. Hmm. Get a little toastiness on this. Hmm. This one on the palate, I'm getting a little bit more like the uh, smoke, like more of a char, not a smoke. I'm getting like the char on the barrel really more than like a peatiness to it. I'm getting the peatiness. I can see the char. I see what you're saying there. Yeah. I see that. Oh, sound keeps cutting out. All right. On whose who's sound keeps cutting out there, Paul? Paul and Rick. <clears throat> Tony and Joe said no, so it could just be a one on one. Only a few people. So only a few people, yeah. So I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see if it progresses, or maybe me and Nick will have to go to the headphones again and see if that'll help um, keep that from happening. But if it keeps, let's let us know if it does. Then we will uh, we'll go to the earphones and see if that helps um, with the cutting out because we shouldn't be. It looks like I mean, I, so I don't know. It might just be spotty. It might be the internet itself. So, all right, uh, back to the whiskey. Oh, that's. I'm almost getting a little like cocoa. Okay, chocolate, little chocolate. Yeah. Maybe? Well, but not chocolate. Yeah, I know it's the same thing, but it's not. Like I, I'm getting like the cocoa powder, like that oh, strong. 
remember we talked about like the 60 percent 80 percent cocoa and stuff like i feel like it's like something of that realm not just like milk chocolate hmm uh, we're, we're saying good here <laughs> please throw up that comment from uh facebook user it's it's actually eric connor's and it's amazing Paul Lavelli, instead of buying whiskey, you should pay your internet provider. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Fab Bourbon Bounty saying so. Maybe it is. It might just be Paul's. Uh, nope. Lavelli says fat chance. He's not good. He's going to stay with his <laughs> fifty. That's 50 a proud drinker. Second. He's going to stay with that. Whatever he's getting. Cheers he's to you, Paul. Is up. Paul's upload speed is Pony Express. It'll be here next week. <laughs> Eric Connor, yeah, so, man, so we got to. I feel like you did a good job breaking this one down a little bit more than me. I agree with the charred oak of side of it. Um, not too much spice in this one. Not really getting that from this. Like a brown sugar, but not like a not like it's not like an all spice. It's not like a pepperiness. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling that. A little water in there. See if that opens it up at all. For me, anyway, we'll see. Yeah, it's not really giving you any of the um, like that that pepperiness or anything like that, and no spices to 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 say on this one. Um, I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's just not like it's not like when we've said pepper and spice in the past. Like this is like oh it's yeah, that's there. Different. It might be a baking spice, maybe like in the back. Yeah, not a pepper. Mm. Um, this one again, really mild, really easy. Not a long finish on it. Medium body. But again, I'm, I'm also getting is like a, there is on my tongue, I'm getting like that cigarette -y, ashy flake, you know, like that taste. Really? Mm -hmm. Like when you just lick an ashtray? Yeah, you know, you know how we <laughs> like to do on our free time. <laughs> when we're licking ashtrays, you know, comparing it with our, with our most favorite scotches. <laughs> I mean, at episode 60, whatever this has been, 65, 66, whatever this is at this point, but it's funny because just sometimes when we bring that stuff up, it brings me back to past episodes that just, there's such funny inside jokes that I can't not mention it and talk about. <laughs> and if you recognize those, cheers to you. All right, so. <laughs> Tony. Yep. Mom, hang up the phone. I'm on uh, the internet with my friend. I'll have to, I'm going to I'm gonna have to download the AOL upload. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Everyone loves hearing that. Does Sadie remember that? I think we might need to ask her. That, mm. that might need to get brought in. All right, hold on. We're going to do this real quick. Sadie says, close and reopen. So I'm going to pull myself out. Go back in. Do the same for Nick. Sometimes this helps. And maybe that'll help if anyone's having sound problems. We did that last week. It seemed to work. Um, now, here's the whole thing. You know, Eric was making fun of Paul, but I upgraded my internet just so we'd be able to do these lives mm. uh, from my house. And, supposed to do that. and the whole thing is it kind of, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but it's really that there's so many people at home right now using their internet and the internet slows down so much. I've done so much research on it and that it, it just it takes such a hit at night because everyone's home now and everyone's using it. And then, honestly, there are so many lives going on on YouTube, Facebook, and on Twitter, like where we're, uh, you know, live streaming to right now on Twitch, on everything that we're on Periscope, um, it's all out there and it just slows and bogs it down is it, it's overwhelming right now with the amount of people that are doing lives with different things. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring getting... see where she's at. Oh, with... I was going to say while you're pulling her in. I am getting that tobacco, like that, like burntness now yeah, you're talking about. Right? Yeah, just a little bit. It's not overpowering at all. It's just in there. It's like on the back. Yes. And I'm actually getting like a toasted apple. Ooh, okay. Like, and I think with the cinnamon and the baking spice in there too. Mm -hmm. Really good. This is a nice finish. It's a good one. Again, it's got me kind of stumped. I don't know where I'm at with it, but how are we doing, kiddo? Pretty good. This yeah. one's a little bit more specific with their um descriptions unlike the other two um and i say you guys are doing pretty well with this one all right well that's good we need we, we need some positives you know what i mean because we're in nick's wheelhouse right now this is where nick lives he's in the, the <laughs> scotch world this is his this is nick's forte we've been building him up for weeks for this we just this is it right here this is redemption mm. 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 
So uh, you also asked if I remember the the dial up sound. I don't. I don't remember anything before the age of like seventeen. So. <laughs> wow. My memory is not that great. I wish that was a joke. I'm a hundred percent serious. Oh, he's oh glitch in the matrix. Did Derek? Did you find that the water helped you at all? I didn't think the water helped at all for this one. Yeah. I don't, it didn't open up the nose any for me, and it didn't open up the palate at all. The the first one, it did. This one, no. Again, optional. I mean, and there's a difference between H2O and adding an ice cube, too. I mean, that's going to also change it a little bit. But I'd be interested because, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead because I'm already ready. But uh, all right. 43%, I'm guessing. I felt like they could be 40, but I'm just like, I don't know, maybe the spiciness and this, the little bit of spice in there is throwing me off. Could yep. be all 40. Who the heck knows? <laughs> uh, 3.25 out of 5. I all still right. liked this one, um, but it wasn't anything that was just, like, incredible. Like, I, I enjoyed sipping this. I would keep sipping this. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not not as good to me as the first one. Okay. Uh, and then H2, no. We just talked about it. Yeah, yeah we, just, we just talked about that. So yeah. I went similar to you. You know, I went, I went 40%. I gave it H2O, no. And I went with a three again. I think it, you know, I, I think it's on par with the other one. I mean, they're not bad. They're just, they're, it's middle of the road right now, honestly. I'm just kind of cruising along, enjoying it. It's not wowing me with a lot of stuff, but it's not, it, it's got enough to keep you interested in it. And that's the thing I do like about them. There's still stuff going on in here that you could, you can find out more. And if you spend more time with it, I think you can get deeper into it. I know that's kind of why I was at like a 3.25 and I contemplate a 3.5 because I'm at like, Ones like this, where we like to kind of depict a little bit more, is kind of fun. And I think you're right. I think the more you sip on it, you kind of keep breaking it down more. Which shocks me that you guys, um, or Sadie, could not find much more on Flaviar from these. Because I feel like out of the ones we've tried, th this is like pretty apparent that there's many things going on. I think... From what dad was saying about it just being like a little bit more new i think it's just hard to find like some detailed notes for it right now like yeah. i think even if i did find it i'm pretty sure the notes would just be exactly the same from the back of the back of the box right now like i don't think they would be that much uh detail or that much more in depth than it is right now no, I don't think I think you're right. I, and I don't yeah. when I was there wasn't a lot of reviews on it um, when I was pulling them up when I was trying to find notes. So it is kind of tough. And I, again, I think it's a kind of like one of those offshoot ones that are kind of a tougher scotch to find if you are out. It may just be like it's only carried in a few stores because um, maybe they have a contract with them or something like that. I don't know if they're bringing it over. It's possible. Um, so oh, Rick says, okay, sound is back. We got uh, bourbon bounty says, what did he say? He said that, oh, so cigarette ash was listed. Yeah, maybe not that one, <laughs> but some of the other stuff. All right. <laughs> well, all right. Thank you, kiddo. We're going to drop you out. We'll bring you back in later. Beep, beep. There we are. Okay. So I'm going on to see. Going on at sea. Over there, and now C. All right, did you pour yours out? You ready, sir? I am ready and able. All right, let's go. You ready to whiskey? We're in, folks. Ooh. Hmm. That is a totally different nose out of the two of them so far. Yeah, but it smells amazing. Wow. I'm, now, on this one, I'm getting butterscotch. Yeah. Butterscotch yeah, totally. on the nose. With a lot of honey. Yep. That smells fantastic. Not really oily at all, either. The legs on it, they run them really, really, really fast. It's been pretty much the same way with all of them. I think it's... Like a banana or to banana. I was going to say banana too. Yeah. Like, is that banana? But it, I'm getting like that again. Also, I think a the tobacco's coming in and slapping it though. <laughs> yeah. I think well, of tobacco no, I'm slapping gonna a banana. banana. I, I will definitely say banana in on that. You're not going to play with that? I set you up pretty good. Yeah, you did. I know. You know <laughs> trying, to, trying to keep it classy, Nick. You know, we're above the, you know. Since when? Uh, all right. <laughs> Read sure. my shirt again. 
Scotch, 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 Scotchy, Scotchy, Scotchy. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah. we're not, we're never above it, honestly, everybody. We're not ever. All right. Uh, anything I've missed? Uh, banana Laffy Taffy. Oh yeah, that's what Becca's saying. Banana Laffy Taffy. Is she sipping along? No, no, she's not. She's just come back with names. <laughs> that's 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 what she says. That's what she, I'm like. Oh, I kind of agree with her. Associates it with something like that. She tried, you know. So banana Laffy Taffy, <laughs> bubble gum, stuff like that. Bazooka Joe things. If you say you have bubble gum in there. Tootsie Rolls, she also throws out a lot. Mm. Right, this ain't a Tootsie Roll, though. No, it ain't no Tootsie Roll. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll go in. All right, this one's got that heavier peatiness to it. Wow. Hmm. I'm literally just staring into space, like. Yeah, you are. You're like you're you're really deep into this one. Yeah. I mean, you are tasting the cask. Like, I feel like this is like full barrel. Like, if I scooped a ladle in barrel and just like, I don't know, I'm just like getting that wood. Yeah, I'm getting that char. I think this is like yes. that, when you say barrel char, that's what you're getting out of this. But I'm wow. also on the nose and the flavor, you're getting that little bit of peat that you'll get sometimes on scotches that can come through from the smoking. Um, so I think there was a little bit in there. That's like that ashiness, smoky cigar ash, like whatever we're saying that when we say cigarette, like licking an ashtray, very light, but it's there. I'm almost thinking like, wow, I just completely lost my train of thought. I'm blacking out. So, I like it. It's so, you know what it is? So I was recently out by a fire. <laughs> And we've used this reference before, but you know when you're like, you get home from a night going out on the fire, but like you almost can taste the fire in your mouth. Like it's like you've been around it. So it usually sticks to your clothes, sticks in your hair. It's all over yep. you. You usually have to shower to get it off you. Like, I feel like it's like in my mouth. You shower? Sometimes. <laughs> I did today. Okay. That's why my hair looks wet. I will after wearing this kilt. Let me tell you. Wool, not my friend. You sure you're not getting a good breeze? You might need to turn your fan on. No breeze, my friend. Dead air not, right now. Then you're not wearing it right. <laughs> I'm trying. Wow. Oh man. Wow. I just I just took a sip of water to try to cleanse my palate. Dude, what I got was that that ashy smokiness that you were just talking about. It's oh, it's so overpowering. It's, it's like it's weird, man. Right now, Paul wrote a wonderful question. <laughs> wonderful question. How, How would you look the inside of the barrel? barrel? Would you go in through the bunghole? <laughs> Again, many things, Paul. If you wanted to, you know, there's <laughs> nope, not gonna touch it. We're gonna leave it alone. Yes, I would go through the bunghole, Paul. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the most wise comment I can come up for that, but. Uh, monkey shoulder is buttery. Yes, monkey shoulder is buttery. If that's what you're sipping on, that's a good scotch too. Very easy. It's not really overly complex. I know you just did that on your show too, Jody. I, I was uh, watching that. I haven't commented on it yet though. Buttery, like a real good butter, not the cheap butter. Government butter. No, Talking about butter, you want to get some good butter for well, for all listeners. Kerry Gold Irish Butter. You'll never go back. Kerry Gold Irish Butter. Yeah. What's, what's everyone's butter of choice? Did we ever have a, you know, I mean, I think we have Land O'Lakes margarine there, whatever it is. It's like the whip to something. I'm not sure. You got you got to get this stuff. This stuff is pure, delicious. And like, yeah, no. Toss that aside. You're going to oh, get this butter, butter and you're it, it, it tastes like you knew an Irish woman who was churning the butter out back. And she came in and she's like, honey, I'm making this fresh butter. I don't know why she sounds like that. I don't know why she sounds like that either. That's very odd, but I like it. So continue on, please, Nick, with how your, nah, I think Irish, stop, Nick. your Irish wife churning butter at home is. Is this what it's like in the back? Is that what Michaela's doing right now over there in the back? I thought I heard sloshing. I didn't know what that was. Yeah. Get back to the butter. Keep churning harder, faster. Actually, I think it's slow and steady, right? I don't know what it is, honestly. You, you seem to be the butter expert, so please let us know. 
Hey, Eric Connors agrees with me. There you go. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. Mick, will you get it from me? <laughs> what the? Butter? I need some butter now. I need the butter. This ain't gonna be a good show unless I have butter. Hey, Paul's had it too. Oh. <laughs> Darren goes an Irish woman. <laughs> I actually love Celtic Thunder. They make incredible music. If you're a big Irish music person, mm -hmm. Celtic Thunder is the one to go with. I love their music. I've actually seen them live multiple times. I've seen Irish step jam step dancing. Oh my gosh. Amazing. I love my culture. I'm Irish if you don't know. <laughs> if you didn't know the yo boyle is just boyle, right? Yeah. <laughs> he originally was an O. And we yeah, took the it o was. Off, uh, to, when he went into Witness protection to hide. No, him it was. It was old oil. Butter cartels were after him. If you didn't know that, the butter cartels were looking for him. Don't tell anyone. But yeah, my I think like my third great grandfather or my second great grandfather, he they came over from Ireland, from Donegal, which is Northern Ireland. And when they came across to New York, they had to drop the O, and they were allowed in. So that's why we're boiling now. Oh, well, there you go. All right. Yeah. Let's get back to the scotch, though. Scotching, scotchy, scotch, scotch, scotch. So I'm not getting much more. I'm getting no. I, I'm getting little cherry, bit. caramel. I don't know. A lot of that char. I mean, that is just in your face. Mm -mm. It definitely is with this, but I, also too, I think it is because of the rebarreling. They they barrel it twice. The initial barreling, then when they do the finished cask, whether it's the bourbon, the rum, or the sherry. Um, this one actually has a Madeira cask, which I didn't see when I was there, because I would have loved to grab that one, too, um, to see the oh, Madeira what? cask. What's that? Uh, it's basically, it's a fortified wine that they do, so it'd be, it's just going to be, you know, they do some finishing Ooh. in the uh, in that one, so um, the Portuguese good. wine, basically, the Madeira wine, that's a... Uh, I'm a huge Portuguese wine person. Oh, now you're so Portuguese. I'm Irish and Portuguese. Portuguese. Irish, Portuguese, oh my gosh. I am, I'm both. I'm like Irish and Portuguese, those are my two I, biggest ones. We'll make the butter with the goat milk, get to it. <laughs> I'm a little Polish and German and some other things too, but like, those are the big uh, ones. Well, you know what? Uh, Nick's a little bit of what? He's he's everything. He's the world combined. We have, you I'm know. I'm a little bit of everything. There's a song for that. I think there he, is. <laughs> and, we are the world. That's all I can sing because we I, are I the world. Right. That's it. That's we it. Um, and Rick, you're right. Welcome to Keeping It Neat, where we discuss bungles and butter. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Only on keeping it neat will you ever find such a diverse bunch of topics we talk about in any evening. Hey, uh, we do it for the people. We yes, do it for you. you. Rick. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, Scottish culture is cool, too. Yes, it is, uh, Jody. It is very much. Um, a lot of history over there um, from, from Scotland. England as well. Ireland. You know, a lot of the... Oh, I didn't put H2O in this yet. I dropped a couple of drip drops in there already, so um, mm -hmm. I think it just it mellowed it out a little bit. Hi, Sue. By the way, my friend Sue joined. Sue, make sure to comment your name somewhere or comment something so you get in the contest tonight. If you haven't yet, comment below YouTube, yeah, Facebook, comment. wherever you're watching. Comments in. Otherwise, you don't get in the free three part giveaway, which could be you. Could be. It's Who doesn't like free stuff? Everyone likes free stuff. I like free stuff. I like free stuff. Who doesn't? I love scotch. Darren. Darren. All right. Darren says alcohol content more than 50%, I think. Laugh out loud. I don't know what he's referring to as far as higher than 50%. You're not going to get maybe a cask strength, but there's not a lot of those you find in the scotch realm, if that's what you're talking about, Darren. Uh, maybe that was a question. Good Lord. See, see what I mean? This is what happens when you have your work friends. They, it kind of goes off the tracks. Eric Connors, if I told my wife to go churn butter, she would be churning it in my bunghole. So. <laughs> That's right. Diverse, diverse, a lot of different topics tonight, folks. A lot of different topics. And, that, and then underneath that, it would say, in disclaimer, this is how Kerrygold was made. <laughs> yep. Oh, Darren, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that the proofing is that high. I think that the, just the way that the barrel was definitely charred from the inside, those aromas have just seeped in. I don't think that the alcohol content, Derek, is that extreme. I would say it might be higher, but I don't think that it's an extreme 
Like it's not it's not fifty. Like fifty is like. Oh, 50 is like you know when you're drinking 50. That's you've sure. shown me 50, and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, Nick's Nick's not a big fan of the high the high proofs. Like I, I like the barrel proofs a lot. You know, I go for a lot of those cast strengths. I pick those up a lot. And I think the smokiness, like the 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 abundant amount of smoke, again, similar to the first or second one we did tonight already, where I talked about the spices. I think it was the second one. Sometimes I'm finding that those spices or that extra char or that extra smokiness is in my mind telling me it's a bigger alcohol content when it's not. Um, I struggle with this all the time. That's why I like guessing this on the show is because I really don't know the realm um, uh, of where to guess for this. So mm -hmm. I I'm as lost as you are in this one, Darren. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't think it's that high, but I. No, I just I usually uh, most scotches and Irishes when you're getting into them, you're going to be. Oh, in oh. Clarification's been made because oh. of our giggly behavior. He thinks that it's higher. No, this is just the show. I'm in a good mood tonight. <laughs> we're in my we're in my realm tonight. So if you got, I we need to do, you know, when when things start getting better with coronavirus, you guys can see a live in our studio. We were supposed to do this right before this was all going to go down with yeah. some people and whatnot. But um, you'd get a feel for what this is really like. We're like. This is only the beginning. Half this stuff Derek has to cut out because it gets out of control behind the scenes. So yeah. I, we are we are leveling this down. A little bit. Like we yeah. like to have a good time. We, we we cut out a lot of the stuff that uh, you don't get to. You know the lives are nice because you get to see a lot more. You know behind the scenes per se, um, yeah. but still not as much as we do when we shoot an episode. An episode, I mean, you know, I mean one episode could be you know thirty some odd minutes and. So if I can get it down to 12, you know what I mean? I'm doing some cutting there, but it's a lot of it's just us talking about different stuff, talking about the actual, you know, what we're getting, nosing it for, you know, 10, 15 minutes maybe. And then, you know, that part you're not going to see because nobody wants to just see me and Dick doing this. Not very exciting TV at all. So, you know. People are going to, I'm going to start doing it so frequently. People are going to think I'm drinking through my nose. Hey, people have done worse, right? Yep. <laughs> you... Again, that one just went right over your head. You paid no, no attention well, to that comment. But I, set, I set you up for the layout. I know you're laying stuff up for me, but I'm, <laughs> again, I was I was looking over here, looking at the comments, seeing who's commenting because someone said uh, a Facebook user popped up. Amanda Johnson's here. Hey, Amanda. What's up? Uh, see, you don't have to feel lonely. Yes, you are the only one, actually, that's on YouTube right now. We do have a couple of people from YouTube that do pop on. Unbelievably enough, a lot of our YouTube watchers actually are from the UK. Um, so a lot of them watch it. And right now over there, it's like 1 a.m. So um, it's tough for them. They, they usually catch our uh, rebroadcast when this comes back on. So, yeah, you could pop over to the uh, Facebook page. But, I mean, you're, you're right in there right now. Everyone can see your posts when they come up here on ours when we pull them up. So, Derek. Let's get to writing our stuff, but do you have any other notes on this? I mean, besides that smokiness and that yeah, char, I'm not together. getting much I'm more. Getting, again, the fruit note in there, but again, they're all very similar. They're made by the same the same mash bill, really. So they're all the same age for all the most part. So you're going to be getting that base note to all of them should be the same. So there's the honey. You're getting the, the fruit note in there. Me on this one, I mean, we said, you know, there was banana. We had a couple of different fruit notes we pulled off of this one. Yeah, banana, maybe some apple in this one. Apple, yeah. A common a common trend I've seen with all three of these, but different types of it is a melon. Like in the first one, it was like a almost like a honeydew of uh, light melon. I'm getting some hint, some very small hint in each one of them of a little bit of a melon of some sort. But that could be know. again. That could be in there. I mean, predominantly all these two are carrying that that light ashy note over for me every on every single one of them. Um, again. It's just the way I'm getting it. It could be the Highland. It just could be the, their mix. It could be their, their their bill and how they're doing it. Um, but that's that's me personally. You know, maybe you would get it. It would be a different note for you per se. But I am getting like there's a look at that brown. That, this one I have a little brown sugar note, um, a little honey. The fruit, the banana are also going in. The, it, it's This one actually has a, quite a bit going on in there. All right, let's bring the Sadester back in. Here she is. Hi. Hello. So before we make our final guesses, we got to show what we had for this one, right? Then we'll finish our boards. Yeah, we'll finish our boards after this. We show this last one, what we graded it, what we did, and then we'll uh, come up with uh, that. 
All right. So I think. Um, what do you got? So your your sound just dropped out. It's because he has the thing in front of his face. Oh there yeah, my bad. You know <laughs> what it is? I'm trying to like move around and I can't hold this up and do the same thing at the same time. So I'm trying. Um. All right. So 41 percent alcohol. Uh. 2.75 out of five. I I don't know. It was almost a little too smoky and charred for me. Um. But I would still maybe sip along with this because I feel like this would be up more Derek's aisle. Uh. And then uh, H2NO. Again, I didn't think the H2O helped at all with this one. All right, I went with the right there. I gave it a 40% alcohol. I gave it H2O. I think the H2O helped it. didn't hurt it at all, so I would, you could put H2O in there. I went 3.25. I think this one had just a little bit more going on for it, um, especially with all the notes we were getting off of it. So I think it had a little bit more going. I could be wrong, but how were we on our notes on this one, kiddo? So this one's notes kind of like the first one are just super generic, not very specific. So okay. you guys did touch on most of the notes just out of principle, essentially. <laughs> They're not very specific. So I can't say for sure if you were nailing some of the more specific fruits or things like that. But based on a very the very generic notes that I have, you guys did pretty good. Okay. We did pretty good, she says. Mm-hmm. So I ranked mine in orders from one to three, which one I like the most, which one I like the least is three. Uh, and I wrote my names next to them. So Derek, you want to show and then we'll get into the contest after that? How do you want to do it? Yeah, we'll do our show. We'll, we'll do our reveals first and um, then we'll go from there. So I'm going to go with this one. You got Rick House Rambling checking in today. Oh. Yeah. I missed him today. Oh, yeah. Rick House Ramblins. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Again, me and Nick were talking off screen about this. Rick House Ramblins, they have a blog. They do whiskey reviews. Um, very good stuff. They're actually doing a, well, trying to get together a barrel pick right now. So if you go over to their uh, site on either on um, their dot com or on Facebook or Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Um, you can find, you can follow their link if you want to get in on their barrel pick that they're doing right now. All the information's there. Um, I'm down for that right now. We got a couple of bottles that we're on reserve right now. We're just waiting. They have to finish out. They have to get enough orders in for their barrels. Uh, I'm sorry for the bottles, and then they can go through. Um, so that's pretty exciting for them. Great job, guys. Um, you know, so that's pretty cool. So hopefully that'll get all done. We'll have a couple of bottles we'll be doing a review on from them. It's a, a single barrel, barrel strength, um, cash strength, basically. Um, bourbon, double oaked, weeded bourbon, actually, is what they're doing. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, but definitely go check them out. You know, they do a blog. Again, like I said, they do whiskey reviews, different ones all over the place. They, they do the craft ones, and they also do the bigger ones, too. So definitely worth a check out. You know, if you're looking at something, maybe they have it already. They've done a review on it, too. Go check them out and see if you you know if what they have to say about it. So definitely worthwhile. Um, but all right, so you got do you have your guesses down already, Nick, on what you think? I what do. You oh, I man. do. So are you still deciding? Should I show mine? Should I wait a second? I guess wait. I'll wait. How about this? Before I go, I'm gonna do free advertisement for myself. So um, <laughs> we actually. Um, have been thinking about getting a new mic for me and stuff like that. Well, I actually guys have found a mic. Ooh. Now I need to find a stand for that mic. So when uh, I do a movie podcast called the Boyle and Rojas movie podcast, which if you tune into our most recent episode, which released on Monday, um, you will, or Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday, uh, you will know that we're actually revamping our podcast and um, our buddy Mark is going to be joining us full time. So we're actually going to be revamping and rechanging our podcast name and and kind of the scope of where we're going to be going. We're still movies, new and old, um, and the same reviews and stuff. But we used to have this golden microphone that was a huge joke because we never used it. So we took it and, you know, Nick had bought it for our show. He thought him and I would use it. But when we're driving around, we couldn't use it. It's like more of like a professional microphone that you need to have sitting in to a, <laughs> into an actual mic stand. So he, uh, so I was like, Hey bud, like I kind of could use this. So if you like movies, go check that out. But yeah, I'm getting a new mic 
guys. So nice. coming soon. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So that so that we won't have you won't be blocking yourself out now. You'll just have the mic off to the side. That'll be nice. That'll be helpful. Yep. So all right, you want to do our reveal here, buddy? We'll we'll go with what we think we've uh, got going on here. I'm gonna give one. Yep. All right. So I think my rank's very simple. I'm gonna tell you A B C one two three for me. Number one was the best. Three the worst. It's going right down in the order. The first one I'm pretty sure was the rum casking. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Number two, I think, was the sherry. Three, I thought, was the bourbon. Um, Derek, before you share, um, no, I'm sorry, I'm going to let you share, and then I'll okay. come back to why I think each thing is what, because I do have reasonings for each one. So, Derek, what do you think? Okay. All right, mine, I actually went the same as you. I went the first one. I went rum cask, then I went sherry cask, then I also went bourbon for the final one. So, that's my what guess. Did you, did you like them in that order? What was your like? Oh, order. my like in the order, honestly, is I really, my first pick, honestly, would be the sherry cask. I like the sherry cask best. Number two would be bourbon. Then the last one would be the rum cask, would become in my oh. third the rum. Okay. So, got sherry, bourbon, and rum for me on my picks. Mm -hmm. So, I guess I'll start off with my explanation. Um, a, I thought A was the rum cask because I am huge now, huge into rum barreling and that sweetness, and I have a feeling that's it. The minute I started smelling it, I was getting those floral notes, those sweet notes. The rum cask is a very apparent, like, scent. It's like, I don't know, each one I've smelt all smell exactly the same. The Balvenine 14, um, the one that I've recently had, Derek, I gave you the sampling the other day, the other day was the Glen Levitt Caribbean, oh, which okay. was unbelievable. That is my favorite one I've found so far. Coming up with this one, too. They all kind of just have very similar stuff. Um, the sherry casking, again, was sweet. But a lot of the times when we get into the sherry, um, we're getting a lot of those like wine flavors, those dark fruit flavors. And I felt like those were coming forth and you still had the sweetness with a little bit of spice in there. So I felt like, all right, this is leaning towards that sherry. The last one was clear as day bourbon, I feel like, because of that charring and that, like we said, that, ugh, that like cigarette ashtray smell and taste. And it's just like a little too pungent, which is not normally where I like to go with the scotches. So um, again, that's why the first one, I, from the from the start, the first scent, I was like, "This is it. This is the rum one." So we'll see what happens. But Derek, do you have right. reasons? My reason, well, I did that first one. Kind of, I was like, I thought I was originally going to go sherry for number one, uh, for the A. And then you know, the when I went back to it, I was trying it back and forth. I found that the lighter notes were in the second one, in, in the B, the B uh, category. So that's when I went with that one. So I kind of changed it up. And then, yeah, I went with the bourbon for C because it had the stronger tones to it. Um, you had a lot more of that barrel coming through, um, but it also had a little bit more of those tones that you do get from bourbon also uh, that were going on in the barreling with that one. So um, that's the reason why I chose the three in the order that I did too. But again, I like the sherry cask because I liked the fruitiness to it that we were getting out of it. A little bit of that lighter notes going on. Um, then I like the bourbon because I do like that complexity and uh, I like the bourbon itself. And then the last one was the rum. But <clears throat> So how do we do in our notes, kid? So, I mean, clearly you guys are either both right or both wrong. I mean, <laughs> and are we both, both right? right. Of, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yes. That is cool. And for never good. tasting this before in my entire life, I'm just giving myself a good a good one of that these. That was very yeah. good, Nick. You did really good with that one. That was that was great. I'm um, telling you that rum fin that rum casking is so apparent. It's like you just you know right away and it's Oh, it's a it's a beautiful glass. It smells good. It tastes good. I'm saving it for last. Like I could just keep smelling this all day. It's like amazing. I could. I wouldn't say better than that. That'd be kind of gross. But well, <laughs> it's you know, just so I mean, good. we talked about it earlier. You know, we do. We are doing a drawing tonight. Drawing is going to be for the main. The main winner will get the three bottles, the three seventy five milliliter bottles of the bourbon cask, the rum cask, and the sherry cask. Our two runners up are going to get the four nip bottles. Um, you, and plus, the, we also have a 12 year we threw in there, but it'll be the bourbon cask, rum cask, and sherry cask with a 12 year also. So, two runner ups will get that. So, you know, not a bad uh, little drawing this evening here for everyone. Why isn't that pulling out? And go back and. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh, God. Having major issues. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So I know when when we get back to it, um, 
Sadie will share it just to make sure your name's on it one more time. There it is. Yep. Sorry, I don't know why I was pulling that up. My bad. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, so anything else we need to talk about, Sadie? Did we miss anything? I mean, we didn't go over any of the specific notes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, you can read over the, the generic the generic notes there. Yeah, so I'll go just down the line, A, B, C. Okay. So uh, A was the rum. Um, the aroma for this one is a rich malty aroma with a biscuity sweetness and fresh fruit notes. A delicate leafy character is balanced with vanilla sweetness. So that was the nose. The taste for this one is sweet and rounded with a vanilla oakiness. The malty character carries through into the taste with subtle notes of caramelized fruits. And the finish is mellow and long lasting. So okay. also just so that way I don't have to go over that every time. Um, all of them have a 40% alcohol content. All right. So they were all the Which same. I, the only part. one I put 41 was that bourbon one. And I just wasn't sure if maybe, but I had a feeling they were all 40. Like why would that one be any different? But mm -hmm. yeah, so all 40 um, and then be the sherry. So the aroma on that one is a rich malty aroma with subtle notes of dried fruits and cinnamon sticks. The sherry cask influence has introduced a sherbet spice and oaky character. And then the taste is rich and spicy with layers of sweet oak, raisins, apricots, and fresh oak. Addition of a little water releases the characteristic flavors of the sherry cask. And then finish is mellow and enduring. Okay. Mellow and uh, enduring? Yep. Huh. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Sadie, can you pull the mic a little closer to your mouth? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. And then the bourbon. Uh, the aroma is hints of leafy spring blossom overlaid with a subtle vanilla oakiness. The taste is beautifully mellow and sweet with a gentle oak palate combined with subtle spices and a fruity character. And then the finish is crisp and clean with an enduring vanilla sweetness. Okay. So. All right. Uh, were there any other notes on that sheet that I gave you? Because I can't. I know it was just very basic that you threw on the floor, wiping your feet on. It's actually on my pizza box. To <laughs> Sorry. Um. Not particularly um nothing okay. specific about the three bottles it's just like the generic stuff about malt whiskeys in scotland oh, okay um, um what is the price on if anybody wanted to pick up a 750 milliliter the regular size bottle of these those should be at the bottom should we um, guess yeah oh you can guess? guess go ahead uh the 750 Yep, the yeah. regular did you size just bottle. say the the other one because i was i was reading comments that people are posting no, um, I haven't said anything else. That was a, he was. She was just talking about the generic notes that I had there. I just said the prices are at the bottom um, mm -hmm. for what a seven fifty milliliter bottle of the bourbon cask, the sherry cask, or the rum cask would be uh, uh, thirty two. For, for which? For all of them? For a specific one? The rum one. <laughs> the rum one. The rum one is twenty four ninety nine. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, I was going to say 26 Darn, that's actually, a great price. Very reasonable. The price yeah, on them is super all reasonable on all of them. So it's not a bad pickup. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. I would go, I mean, honestly, before, you know, we always say before you buy a big bottle, you know, if you can find the little nip bottles like we have, you know, of this size right here, the little nip bottles, grab those first before you committed to it. You know what I mean? Um, this way you pick out something that you do like after you try it. And then you can go back and just buy that one rather than, you know, going through three bottles. Maybe you won't like the other ones as much, but always something to think about. You know, we always say that option. If you can find a smaller bottle first, do that rather than committing to a large bottle. But twenty five dollars really isn't that much, um, you know, in the, in any kind of in the whiskey world. That's not bad at all uh, for a bourbon scotch or an Irish. You're really not at all. That's that's a good price, honestly. Yeah, um, I sherry, think you're all. Go ahead. The sherry is also twenty four ninety nine, and then the bourbon is twenty seven ninety nine. Yeah, and so it's that crazy because I hesitated. Yeah. I was I was feeling twenty six, and I was like, I'm going too low for a scotch like this. That's I was like, nah, this is too low. So I'm maybe I am getting better at the prices. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we got a couple. Of, people like the shirt, Nick. They like your shirt. You know. There's... Oh, so the first one was my buddy Rojas. 
uh, my buddy Nick Ross in my uh, movie show. Uh, okay. The other one was Frank Stacy Sanchez. Oh, okay. Frank and Stacy. How you doing, guys? So, All right. Well, I think we're going to get to the giveaway there, Sadie, the drawing. So if you want to uh, share up, I mean, if you got all the names totaled right now, because we had a couple people came in here at the end. Yep. Just give me a second. Okay. Do you... I pulled it up. You should be able to. Okay, cool. Let me. Uh... All right. How many do we have, Sadie? What's the, the names that we got going on? I have 18. 18 names. All right. So why don't we read off the names, make sure everyone's on here that's uh, listed. Okay. So I have Darren. I have Whoop. Joe. Um, I have Rick. I have Paul and Karen. I have Frank, Stacy, Sanchez. I have Tony. I have Christine Correa, which I believe was Nick's mom. Yep. I have Bourbon Bounty. I have Eric Connors, Robert Bubba Lane. Your name times two for the wise guys. Um, I have Amos, uh, Susan Reddy, Kevin Driscoll, um, Amanda Johnson, Rickhouse Ramblings, and Nick Rojas. Did so, you have Brian Ferrari? Because he did say hi earlier in the show. Did he? Yeah, he was on really early. I did not see him. Like, Get out of here. <laughs> pretty sure I thought I saw him at some point. He came on. I maybe I missed it. I didn't think I might so, have but he's him. in there now. All right. Anyone that. else now speak now or forever hold your yeah. Peace. If you're not, you know, what the oh, and text nope, text wasn't in here. I didn't no, see no, text. No. Now, what happens if your name times two wins? Then who gets that? <laughs> no one. You oh, get to keep it. that's a retain. Yeah, sorry. One Shouldn't less have winner it. for everyone else. Oh, man. All right. Okay, so you want to do the spin. So how we're going to do it this week, folks, is we are actually going to do four spins. We're just going with the first spin, the second spin, the third spin. Then the fourth spin is going to be a runner-up just in case our other ones don't meet the criteria that we need. Um, so let's get ready to spin here, and we'll see. But if it comes up to your name, too, I think we'll spin again because that's really – we had two people with your name. Come so. on. That wasn't the rules. I know. Nope. We keep it. <laughs> we keep it All for right. us. So as you guys remember, this is the same wheel as last time, which is why we're not doing the, the random – yeah, the, the three time. random smashes because you guys saw it was random last week. So it, it's trustworthy. We don't we, we, we have nothing to gain by whoever's in here. Um, mm -hmm. so let's give the spin first spin and the grand prize drawing winner. Ooh. No. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is about time. Woo, that was All close. Right. I thought, uh, wow, be Brian again. I was Nick, like, okay. Darren won. All right, All right. number Ready? two, runner up for the four nip bottles. First runner. Darren's up. been having a day. Good awesome, for Darren. Buddy. Congratulations, buddy. Uh, no way, Ferrari again. Ryan, <laughs> I don't even think he commented. I think we're giving him free stuff. I'm, I'm know, looking Ryan, back. I'm getting there. into this. I'm saying is that I thought he was in the comments. I mean, oh, I didn't see him. I'm going back. I didn't back. see him either. I kept track the whole time. I think okay. Dad's just trying to give Brian free stuff. Well, I thought I he is him. too. Well, if you say he wasn't in there, then give it another spin because I thought he popped in there way early. Didn't I'm he going last up. Week? Oh, you know what? I can see right now. Hold on. In my comments, if I pull him up here. That's okay. what I'm doing. I'm going back. And I'll be you guys to... tell us. Did Brian comment? Everyone was like, Texera did not comment. He will True. not win again. No, no one said anything about Brian Ferrari, though. So I have not knows? seen Ferrari on here yet. Hold on. I've been keeping track since the beginning. Dad yeah. doesn't trust me, apparently. All right. Well, I, Ferrari's I not in there. Thought he... I knew it. Spin again. I knew Spin it. it again. Then he's not going to win. He won last week. Yeah. Come on. No more free stuff for Brian. So this is for the first backup prize. Oh, oh Rick Hamlin's very nice. Congratulations, guys. Um, what you guys can do is if you you can uh, DM us, um, let us know your address, and I'll get that out to you guys. And now for our third runner up. Oh, 
is who? Oh, he's going to be so excited. Robert Bubba Lane. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right, we don't have to draw a fourth because I know everyone here is of legal drinking age that just came up. So, I mean, Rickhouse Ramblings, they do a whiskey review. I'm pretty sure they're good. <laughs> yeah. Nick's buddy, I had, you know, Nick's friend there, uh, Darren, um, he watches. Uh, he is also of legal age, so we don't need a fourth. But congratulations to everyone that won this evening. We're going to drop that out. We'll go back to our regular view. Um, but yeah, so congratulations, everyone. You know, I mean, so like I said, DM me. Nick's going to handle the Darren end of it. You know, I'll get the stuff to him, Darren. So you can don't be hounding me. Hound Nick. Send him, you know, text, <laughs> email. Oh, he'll me. I'll make sure I have to have it tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be making a late night drive. I don't think anyone's going to be here to answer the door at 9 a.m., but no. I don't know. What it but uh, we're going to get that out. Probably we'll get that to you. Like I said, um, Rick House Ramblings, let me know. I know I, you emailed me earlier today, but DM me again. Uh, give me your address so I can get that out to you, the little samples for you, uh, the nip bottles to you guys. Congratulations on everyone, and thank you, everybody that watched tonight. Um, you know, again, you know, giving a little congratulations out to Sadie and to Nick, for, uh, Sadie, for graduating, Nick for being accepted into his graduate program. Um, we have so something to go off on tonight. We do have something to go out on tonight. Tonight we're going to be going out with a little toast with the Glen Merengue. 18 year. This uh, Nick bought me this for my birthday. Um, I just opened the bottle the other day, gave him a, a snifter of it um, in a sample bottle. Um, I just poured myself out a little bit right now, too. So um, give that a little whirl. It's also, this is a Highland, so it's fitting that it's a Highland uh, malt, single malt scot. Ooh, that has a wow. lot of those, dude. That is nice. Yeah, it is. Happy belated. Yeah, happy <laughs> belated. So, you know, but. Everyone, I hope everybody enjoyed the show tonight. Um, on our Facebook page, on our you join, obviously, tell people about us, link, share yeah. us if you want. Um, but please let us know in the comments on things you'd like to see us do on the show, different for the lives, you know, what you'd like to see us try, um, things that you may want to see us do, maybe other mm -hmm. blinds, maybe just a review of a bottle you like that you think that we, that if we can find it, we'll do it. But, um, you know, just looking for ideas for future lives that we will be doing. We kind of enjoy the lives. We think they're a lot of fun. We like it, you know, to comment with everybody here when they're popping up. We like to, you know, we like to give a shout out. We try to call, you know, everyone that does come in, um, give them a little shout out, you know, um, that they're joining us for the evening, you know, sipping along with us, whatever you might be drinking. We like to see that too. But uh, anything else, Mr. Nick? I was going to say, yeah, just you never know who's going to be interested. It might not be you. It might be somebody you know. Uh, so always just let people know about the show. And if you need business cards, we got plenty. Yeah, so. oh, we got business <laughs> cards. I do have business cards. But, yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, thank you very much for everybody that watches, for everyone that's a loyal fans there, you know, commenting, watching us, watching our regular shows that we put out, our regular series on YouTube all the time. You know, we try to get out two. It's been one this week, but this one counts because we just keep this one as our second episode for the week, um, you know, because this it takes a lot of the time here. We don't really do any editing with it. It's all unedited, but it's a longer episode. It's the um, raw. It's <laughs> raw, raw, uncut footage of just me and Nick being me and Nick. And we're yeah. live. Yeah. Slapping you know, bananas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you know, you get to hear comments like, you know, how do you lick the inside of a barrel through the bunghole? You know what I mean? Churning butter, things like that. We we kind of take it off a beaten path that most people go down. You know, we try something different yeah. here. We try. We try. We try, but hey folks, thank you again, everyone. Make sure you like, you comment, you share, you tell everybody about us. That's what we want. You know, we want to start building our base up a little bit more. We know we enjoy everyone. We like everybody. We want everyone to be participants on our Facebook group. So definitely make comments on there. Let us know what you're drinking every night. We love to. We always respond back. We let you know if we're sipping on something, what we may be getting out of it. So, you know, definitely do that and let us know what you think and what you're trying, you know, what you're sipping on any night of the week because we will definitely get back to you and we'll definitely, you know, let you know if we've tried it before or not. So I think that's going to be it. I think we're going to take it out on that note. I'm going over here. So I have my out for that later. But here's hoping that everybody finds a little bit of luxury. In an otherwise ordinary life. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Thanks again.